Peekaboo! Hello, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Cooney. I can see you. Eh, anyway, just hiding in the plants again, as per usual. I hope I remember to hide in the plants between before the boss fight. Because if I didn't do that, that's gonna be really dumb. It's gonna be dumb beyond, man. Dumb beyond your wildest dreams. Your wildest dreams. Go away! Oh my god, you stupid things. That's weird. Okay, guys, I just caught a small fry. I was like, wait a minute, didn't I already catch one of these? But I guess the other guy was an evolved version of him. He has to be. That is really weird, though, that you would see that this early in the game. See two different evolutions of one monster already. Either way, I called the other guy. The other guy was the Deep Fry. And I call him Balls Deep. So what do I call this guy? Balls Small? How about... Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Balls... Balls Junior. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Balls Jr. is now your familiar. Yay! Oh my god! It's crazy, man. God, it's a Bane flower. Hey, now we can finally get back and do that side quest that I was talking about doing earlier. <laughs> and we can hiccup as well. Hang on a second. Don't we have a hunt that we can do? Yeah, we do. Right over there. There's actually two of them, isn't there? Because it's in one over... Oh, no, I did that one. That's right. God, I actually did that already. Well, I might just go over there and get that guy, since I'm out here anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll see you over there. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, it looks like we got us another one here. I'm not even sure we've seen this enemy. But, uh, this is the light shade, right over here. You tamed the light shade, all right. I don't know, I kind of like shady. I'm just going to go with that, you know? We don't have to be insanely creative all the time. We could just go with the default once in a while. No, that's a couple of cacti. Wait, that's him over there. See that thing running around? Holy crap. Oh, jeez, man, get back over here. Take on the adamant tiger, huh? Adamant tiger, I get it. Come on, you guys! All right, it's a palette swap of Clubber Cub. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh yeah, this is nothing. Well, shit, I don't know. He's wailing on Peacol pretty good there. Jeez. Let me get back to Oliver and uh, do a healing touch real quick. There, yeah. Uh, and then. There we go, Mr. Mighty. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got better defense than he does. It's... That was a little close, but... Yeah. <laughs> you should expect things to be that way, though. It is a, you know, it's a bounty hunt, after all. Irene! Why am I peeing like I was up all night having sex? Well, it seems old Hank had pulled a fast one. Yes, indeed. Bounty hunt complete. Now we get to go back to Alma Moon. Let me see if I can catch this. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't. Well, she gained a level. That's why she got all her HP. That's why she got all her HP back. I was like, what the heck? It shouldn't be that hard to catch one, considering I have his weakness, the banana guy's weakness, that is, in my sword. You've returned. Does this mean you've completed the trials? Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> Don't worry your pretty little head about that, your sage ship. We sorted that out, too, while we were at it. Well, yeah, you just tell that story. Not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting. Yep. We are just that amazing, sir. You should advertise us on Facebook, man. 
We'll take care of all of your Mother Nature needs. We'll melt your snow. We'll air condition your beaches. And everything in between. As for neutralizing tornadoes, well, we're still working on a spell for that, but... Man, I'm just constantly in need of more powerful spells. More, more, more. Little known fact, Oliver, with great power comes great responsibility. Remember what Uncle Ben said. No, <laughs> don't talk about Uncle Ben right now, please. Hey, we get to learn the... we get to meet the other sages, okay. I think we'll ever get to meet Alicia. What is that guy doing walking around up there? He's like that guy on uh, Prison Break. You know, in the jail that was like running the drug operation and all or whatever. And like he didn't want anybody else. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we heard about that. Alicia, she's caught in the soul snare. This. <laughs> City of Hamelin. Oh, boy. I believe that's how you say that. I don't think it's like Hamelin or anything. It's just Hamelin. I just see those first three letters and I see ham, boy, and it makes me hungry. It makes me want to chew off some of my ham bone. It's actually, forget I even said that. What, did, what was I even trying to say there? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. She's coming with us. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure, but you know, I'm just going to be boring standing around here selling babanas all freaking day. But daddy, is it alright if daughter comes along? I mean, I know my daughter. There's no stopping her when she sets her mind on something. I have little choice but to agree. Well, let's hope she doesn't start, like, smoking weed or something. Then again, I think she's already done that, so never mind. That explains why she was doing it in the first place, then. Alright. <laughs> Look after me, won't you, Oliver? Yeah, that I will. Oh, Drippy, you're so jealous, I tell you, man. <laughs> May the ancients watch over me. Um, who are these, who are these so-called ancients, anyway? Like, uh, are they, like, justified and ancient? I don't think anybody would get what I'm talking about there. <laughs> That's a reference so obscure that I almost can't believe I remember it at all. I never would have known about it if not for my sister, anyway. Uh, so, what do we got here? We still have those two side quests. Well, I, well, actually, we're past... Well, no, it warped us to Rashad when we entered the town, so... Oh, you know what? There is another side quest available here now. It's this guy. Oh, I say, it's the young fellow I met in Ding Dong Dell! It's the diary man, the man who lost his diary. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you doing out here? The desert is bally sweltering, as are my balls. But one can say one's been on a world tour without squeezing in a little volcano viewing, don't you know? Really? Oh, that's cool. Well, you know, you do what you gotta do. You're an old man, I wouldn't expect you to go all the way to the top. Besides, there was, like, some places out there you couldn't get to. Unless you had, like, a frostbite spell. And I'm just kind of going to assume here that you don't have a frostbite spell. But hey, guess what? Apparently, you know, rather than learning a frostbite spell, what he did was he went off and left his diary out there again. So now we got to go find it. Again. Hmm. Oakley Oakley then. So that's it. That's the second. So, so he's lost his diary and we gotta go find it again. What the heck? That's crazy, man. 
You don't just leave your diary sitting out for people to read. I mean, good lord, man, what's the point of even having one? And you know what? His ass can wait, because I got this to take care of. By the ancients, you have gathered ingredients I asked of you. To mix them is the work of mere moments for a master such as myself. Alright, then do it. It's done. You have the honor of possessing a quantity of the Sheik's most coveted special spices. In the right hands, they'll produce a, produce a curry beyond compare. Yes. Awesome sauce. So now that we've done that, we take the spices back to the cook guy. Wait a minute, do we have the rice and the beef? Let me actually check. I'm not sure if I do or not. My ear is itching like crazy and it's about to drive me bonkers. Okay, we have the beef, but we don't have the rice. The good news is you can buy the rice at the store. Uh, so we'll just pick that up on the way then. For some reason, I just kind of assumed that I'd pick it up, like, as a drop in battle, or that it would show up in one of the spawn points or something. Either way, uh, just go over here to food and pick some up right here. I believe you need three parts rice. If I'm wrong about that, I'm going to feel really dumb. But hey, worst case scenario, maybe we can alchemize something out of them later. Or we could just sell them back, you know, if that push came to shove. We could do that too. I hope it wasn't three parts beef that is what we needed. Guess we're about to find out here, though. Hello, sir, I got your ingredients. By the ancients, you have gathered all the ingredients. I can create the legendary Tika Mahalo at long last. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. And why, you will you ask? Well... Fever the flavor of the legendary Tikka Mahala. Wow, this smells great! It really does. Wow! Sorry, man, I just can't hold back. I'm going in! Yeah, me too! <laughs> Here goes! Oh. Crikey! This spicy beef and veg is a marriage made in curry heaven. The Raj Mahal is a spicy oasis in a desert of disappointment. I never had it before, but this is the best curry I ever ate. <laughs> you are surprised and elated, I see. The Sheik's special spices never fail. The delicate harmony of spice and tender beef intertwining with the subtle aromas of you. But they are not listening to a word I say. Mm. Oh, well. Eat, friends, and be merry. Raj's curry pot never runs dry. Yippee! You have my eternal gratitude. Thanks to you, the Tikka Mahala is no longer a relic of the past, but a living, breathing part of Mooney culture. This is surely not enough to compensate you for your troubles, but please, I must give you something for what you've done for me. And you get five bowls of Tikka Mahala. Tikka Mahala heals for 150 HP, so it's definitely... Not a bad item to have. Not a bad set of five things to have. I mean, shoot, man. Remember how useful the dried meat could be in Final Fantasy VI? Four merit stamps for that, too, boy, I tell you. So I was going to say, some of you might remember last year I tweeted about Dinty more beef stew. And uh, eating it in Nino Kuni. I don't remember if I said that it was Nino Kuni, but... But yeah, that, that's what I was referring to, because that stuff looks exactly like Dinty Moore Beef Stew. The stuff that they're eating in that cutscene. So, what do we do next? I uh, suppose I could check the weapon shop. Although I really don't think... I really don't think there's going to be anything new here. But, oh, this isn't even the weapon shop, this is Swift Solutions, but that's okay. Because we can claim our bounties here. Some five milk chocolates, I'll gladly take that. And 200 guilders, that's good too. And Babana Thief, get another set of flame robes there. Yeah, why not? 
So there we go. Claim Merit Awards. What do we got? We have two stamps here, so we can actually get something. Huh, makes it easier. You can sneak up underneath from behind. Just want to restore it if glims. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just pick one. So there we go. Now we get more glims in battle. Yay! Because <laughs> why not, right? So now we have to fill up two more stamp cards. Actually, three. Before we can unlock any of the other rewards that you get to pick here. So, oh, and there's new bounty hunts, huh? Bony Beast keeps challenging travelers to duels in the desert. Huh, alright. Check it out. Let's see, east of Castaway Cove. Oh, and Castaway Cove. We haven't been there yet. But, we'll check it out. Oh, man, I think I remember which one that is, too. He's not a pleasant fight, I'll tell you that. At the foot of Old Smokey. Well, geez, we're headed there just about. Five stamps for that thing, yeah. Shoot, I don't let this video run a little long here, haven't I? So, we picked up a few more bounty hunts here. There's definitely a couple of those that we can do right now. And one of them's on Old Smokey. We gotta head there to get the diary anyway, so we might as well do that all in one trip. But, uh... That's not something that we're gonna have time for today, though, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say... Afraid I'm gonna have to say so long for now. So, next time on Nino Kuni, I reckon we'll head back to Old Smokey and take care of those two side questy things real quick. Get that other hunt out in the desert. And, uh, turn those in, and then just head to Castaway Cove, I guess. So, till then, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. See ya.